Yes, Sorry. yes. Every time whenever you have a V's, you will treat a silbutamol. mold. How would you verbalize it? You'll say, Michael, I I could hear on a uh, V's on your chest. I'm going to change your mask. You're going. To, I'm going to change your mask, oxygen-driven mask, uh, mask to oxygen-driven mask. I'm going to give you five milligram of five milligram of five milligram of silbutamol. And I will reassess you. You will say that I will reassess you after 20 minutes. And I might need to repeat it. I'm going to reassess you after 20 minutes. I might need to repeat it. Okay. You will say that. Okay. Agreed? Okay. So whenever you see the V's, what you will do, you will treat it with the selbutamol. And there are three scenarios. You will have V's, anaphylaxis, asthma, and COPD. You are going to treat with the that. So in the part B, a quick summary in the part B, what you are going to do is chest examination, especially auscultation, auscultation of chest. And the second is chest x-ray. These are important things. You'll have that. So what finding you are going to get in chest on inspection? In inspection, you are going to get a rash. When you see a rash, you will stop everything and you're suspecting anaphylaxis. What if in the anaphylaxis reaction you get the Vs? When you get the Vs, you will change the mask onto the salbutamol mask and x-ray. Not on, not in the anaphylaxis one, overall in the PLAB2 in the x-ray, you might have a finding of, you might have a finding of cardiomegaly. So these are the B finding in the PLAB2. In the PLAB2, these are the findings you will have in the part B of that. Okay. So that is a B. In the B part, you will have these findings. Okay. Now, in the part C, C for circulation. What, what findings do you expect in the part C? Low blood pressure. Yes, excellent. Increase capillary refill time. Excellent. So first of all, we need to understand what we are going to assess in the part C. So for example, I'm, I, I am a same man. So you done my chest, ex, uh, chest examination. Okay. Now what we are, what are the assessment you are going to do from my, uh, like you will start with the cap refill CRT. So I would, you would say, Michael, I would like to assess your capillary refill time. You will literally say one, two, three, four. Okay. Five. You will verbalize it. Why you? What you need to verbalize? One, two, three, four, five. An examiner might tell you if examiner tell you it is one, two. Th that is okay. If examiner say one, two, three, four. The capril is delayed. Okay. Then after that, the other findings you might have is that is BP. Blood pressure could be low, and it could be ninety over sixty. I'm give, going to give you finding. And then pulse, there are two findings in the pulse. The pulse would be high, more than 100, and sometimes pulse show irregular, irregular pulse. So how would you see that? So in the PLAB2, I'm going to talk about the shock scenarios now. So the C part, you will able to diagnose shock scenarios. What are the shock scenarios in which you will see the patient is going, to, going in the shock? Can anyone tell me what are the shock scenarios in PLAB2? Upper GI bleed, lower GI bleed, PPH. Oh. oh, excellent. So it could be upper GI bleed, lower GI bleed, wherever the patient is bleeding or and any other, the patient is going in sepsis. There are two scenarios of sepsis where the patient have a chest infection or patient might have a urine infection. Okay, in both of these cases, the patient would have a low BP. Okay, and the patient is having blood and from the private part, from upper GI bleed, lower GI bleed, and from the private part, PPH. So these are the shock scenarios. You might have these findings. So how to fix it? So that's the point. So for example, you are starting from capillary refill time. How to how to do it? I'm going to tell you quickly how you're going to do, do it. Okay. Uh, yeah, just give me one second. So if you are going to see someone who is in shock, if someone is in shock, 
what you will do for example you enter into the cubicle and uh, you are on the part c and the patient is in the shock you already seen that patient is vomiting blood or something like that and when you see the patient is in the shock what you will do first of all whenever you see that i can see the cap refill is high and when you see the blood pressure you'll be looking at the monitor i can see that i can see that the that michael uh, your blood pressure is low that make me a bit of concern and then after that what is the most important thing you will check the pulse and you will see c for cannula so you will you will you will tell that i'm going to pass the cannula which cannula to select which cannula to select you need to understand which cannula you going to select the most important thing here which cannula is you're going to select is totally depend upon the blood pressure and depend upon the cr if the patient blood pressure is low, you will going to say, I'm going to pass a cannula double, white bow, both sides, bilateral cannula you are going to pass in. So you're going to pass in bilateral cannula if the blood pressure is low, CRT is high, and the pulse definitely will be high. So what you are going to do here, what you are going to do here, you are going to pass the cannula. But what literally you'll go into the, uh, 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 the trolley and you'll get two white bow cannula and you'll put nearby the patient. The important thing we are going to discuss here, this part, this part, the C part, cannula, this part will be the key in the lab two. It will be divided into two things, guys. That is give and take. Whenever you are going to pass cannula, you have to verbalize and tell it in every scenario. Here we are going to focus on that part. I want all of your focus here. I'll be asking questions. You will be using your chat box. I can see your chat box. So the question is that the, we was we have started shortness of breath scenarios. Okay, we have started shortness of breath scenarios, and I already told you the shortness of breath scenarios are uh, asthma, and we have uh, anaphylaxis, and we have. Uh, apart from that heart failure and you have to focus if you focus trust me your your semen will be like 12 out of 12 if you focus what i'm trying to tell you here heart failure and copd so first of all we are going to fix everything here everything is going to fix in the part c so this part c you reach the part c so you started with you started with crt you check bp and after that, you check heart rate. Now you are about to pass cannula. When you're going to pass cannula, everybody is going to forget, but you don't need to forget that. What you are going to say that, Michael, I'm going to uh, pass a cannula because I have to take blood. So which blood? So you would verbalize this take. I have to take. I have to take. Which bloods you are going to take? So you have to tell that every time. For all of the simmens, for all of the simmens, you will see these, you will say that. Blood gas, full blood count, 